Senea, welcome today. Uh, you're the convener for the Emerging Researchers Group. Uh, now, I know this is a very special group within ERA. Indeed. Can you explain to me what the Emerging Researchers Group is all about? Right. So, thanks very much, Graham, for that. Um, the Emerging Researchers Group is um, a core group within ERA that supports emerging researchers what, and what we define them as are those who are zero to five years after their PhDs, but really any person that defines themselves as an early career researcher, so be they master students, be they those that choose uh, not to pursue PhDs, but are still in the initial stages of their research careers. So, Sonia, tell me something about the activities which the Emerging Researchers Network run. We've got the Best Paper Award that follows on from recognising some of the great papers that were presented during the conference. And we have a double-blind peer review process that follows on through the year for that. And at the same time, we have um, era, season schools, era season schools that the Emerging Researchers Group supports with through subsidies and, and so on. There's also the Best Poster Awards that we offer. In fact, this year, for the first time in 2019, we're going to be piloting um, a popular vote for the Best Posters. We've got a panel of reviewers that review the posters anyway, so we've got the academic um, committee that reviews them. We've got lots of other activities that researchers are involved in throughout the year. So we've got an online forum, a mailing list as well, and a LinkedIn group where um, emerging researchers can have conversations, share, you know, tips, ideas, activities, uh, conferences that are coming up, uh, calls for publications and papers and so on. Can you pick up on this, this season school? Mm -hmm. So tell us something about them. Okay, so we're, we are, whenever we're invited to support with any of the network specific season schools, we um, always chip in with that. But the particular one that I'm talking about is known as the ERA Summer School, and that's held annually um, in different European cities, and it's usually focused around methodologies. So there's usually 70 to 80 um, emerging researchers that are invited, and it's a subsidised summer school. Um, the focus of the summer school, it's a one week long summer school and they all come together, again very different diverse disciplines, so it's methodology is usually you know, a running thread through everyone's research. Um, and it also gives them the ability not just to be based in small tutorial groups that they're then given, they're usually groups of about six or seven of them, and they have a tutor or a tomb allocated to them and they have feedback on their research proposals as well as engaging with uh, keynote speakers that come in, uh, workshops that are held for them and they break out into smaller groups. Now, I'm getting this right, yeah, the emerging researchers come from every area of educational research. And That's as we know, correct, yes. it's very broad for 30 different networks, etc. How does the interchange work between people working in such different, diverse areas? So it's very much based on the support that we have from our, the networks and people coming in to give expert advice not only on the proposals we receive but for instance during the conference, the, in the Emerging Researchers Conference we have, well they're known as mentors actually rather than the traditional roles of chairs. So colleagues, senior academic colleagues come in and give uh, within their area where possible the specialised advice and support uh, to those um, emerging researchers. We also offer mentorship um, outside of the, um, the traditional conference uh, space. So for instance through reviewing papers as well, both the academic papers or the, the full journal, 8,000 word journal articles, but also through the conference, the proposals that come in. Um, it's a very intensive and quality checked review process that we have. So what does the European dimension, if we can call it that, what does that mean to your network? 
And because of the very fact that we are so diverse, it's very much about acknowledging the context of high quality research um, incorporating the wider transnational context in which research occurs. So making it relevant both within the respective context that the research is taking place, but also trying to um, ensure that applicability of the research in other European areas. Um, and again, it's, it's a formative space promoting open dialogue and critical discussion that emerging researchers can engage with, um, you know, across, across boundaries. So that's what we take to mean. It's promoting research for the benefit of education and society. So tell me what you like about your network, what do you like about ECR? Okay, I think the fact that we are a unique, safe space, um, but a very formative and developmental space for emerging researchers to come without any of these you know, hierarchical aspects that you may find in, in some of the more um, uh, specific conferences. Uh, and I think that that's what I like about it. And we very much promote this ethos without being patronising to them, but trying to be mindful of the fact that we have such a diverse group that come to us because, purely because of the varied nature of institutional support that they have back in their home countries. So, I mean, we've had researchers, emerging researchers in the past that have come who have never had the opportunity to engage in any sort of discussion outside of their research project. Um, so they're coming to this conference for the first time and looking for a space that they can have open discussions with you know, like-minded people and be challenged appropriately but in a productive way.